Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. I'm wishing you a very happy new year and I'm hoping you've had a really, really wonderful Christmas. Time for my 2014 favourites video. So I'm gonna go through all the things I've loved this year, things that I've used over and over again and re-brought and repurchased and I think I'll be loving for 2015 as well. So the first thing that I've been loving is, I'm gonna do kind of like little categories. So skincare first, I've been loving the Skin Iceland Nordic Skin Peel. It's been in favourites videos before. Um, it's little pads, they're quite strong and they have kind of alphabeta complex. Smell quite um, clinical, is <laughs> almost the smell I'd say, but I just find these, when I've got outbreaks coming up or little kind of spots that are starting to form, I find if I wipe one of these over my entire face, don't put them near your eyes, because it will sting your eyes, but just around the face and the skin, kind of around the nose especially, it literally stops spots from coming up. And I've turned many of my friends onto this product as well, so that has definitely been a favorite, probably two years running now actually. Yeah. Next up is the Clarins Brightening Toner, and this is the Gentle Exfoliator with Tamarind and White Nettle. So it's quite a small bottle, but I find I, I really like using this sort of couple of times a week, so it's good if you've got really sort of sensitive skin, because it's quite a gentle exfoliator. And what I love about this is if you do the, um, Clarins have like a Hydra Quench face mask, which I often wear, and then you remove it with the toner, and that combination just works beautifully. But the toner, obviously I'm using it probably three times a week, so I've been using this a lot, and this is my second bottle. So next it's Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I think a tried and tested favorite amongst many beauty gurus. Um, but I think what I love about this is it just kind of does everything. You can use it, I'm mean, gonna use it in my kit as kind of gloss on eyes, I use it on cheekbones. I put this on every single night before I go to bed, even though my boyfriend hates the smell of it. And I put it on and it's one of those things that I still wake up in the morning with a little bit of it still on. And I just think this really is eight hour cream and in terms that it actually lasts eight hours. And I, again, this is probably like my fifth tube over the past couple of years. It's in my kit and on myself, I use it all the time. The so next category is brushes and the brushes that I have loved for 2014 are my Bobbi Brown brushes. I've had many brushes over the years I've been trying out and my professional kit consists of lots and lots of different brands. But the Bobbi Brown brushes, I feel like I've really rediscovered this year. And especially on myself, I've been loving, I've got the powder brush, the eye blender, the sheer powder brush and the, I think it's the eye blender as well. And the eye smudge, yeah, they're the two eye ones I've got. And I just love these brushes. I think they wash really well. And they're not, it's nice having actual nice brushes for me that aren't just for my kit. And then the other brush that I have that I wanted to mention because it's a budget kind of brush is the Real Techniques brush and it's the setting brush. And I went and brought like another five of these the other day because I love them for the concealer. And again, in my professional kit, even though it's a cheaper brush, I just find it's like the perfect shape and it's the texture of this bristle. It just seems to work really, really well for kind of blending concealer in around the nose and under the eye. So I've got a couple of those in my kit and on my, my own brushes as well. When it comes to foundation, I think for my daytime look, I really, really enjoyed the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. Now this was a discovery probably sort of halfway through the year, and I've got the number, the color Sam number two, and it's just called Skin Foundation with SPF 15. It feels super, super light, but I find I seem to get better coverage on this for my skin um, than some of the kind of uh, maestro foundations and things like that. So that, in terms of my daytime foundation, I think would be my personal favorite on me. Uh, for 2014. For more buildable coverage, I've really loved this year the Luminous Silk. Again, another kind of rediscovery. I have it in my kit. I have one on my dressing table, but I kind of go backwards and forwards between foundations. And this year, I really rediscovered this for my skin. As you guys probably know, I love a glowy foundation. Anything that makes you luminous and radiant, that's my cup of tea. Um, and I wear the, at the minute, my winter shade is kind of a mix of number four and 4.5 in the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk but I can rant and rave about this foundation for ages because I know it works beautifully on my carpet and lots of my other kind of jobs that I use it for, I really love it. Um, but on my skin, it just really works and I think it makes you look super flawless, but still like a natural glow. The NARS Virtual Domination Cheek Palette has to be a favorite this year. Although I've only had it for kind of two months or a month and a half, I just think it's such a good palette that kind of ticks all the boxes that I need. You've got your full size Laguna bronzer, all the blushes in this are really wearable and I love having a hard palette where you're not gonna have it kind of smush into it the way the cardboard ones do after a few months. So I've absolutely loved that and I think I'll be using that all of next year as well. It's funny, I was watching my 2013 favorites actually from uh, last year and I noticed the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer was my favorite concealer at that point. And in terms of my kit, I would still say it is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. 
However, on myself, it has to be the new Clarins Concealer, which is the instant concealer. I use number one. It just looks like real skin, and I'm a bit worried when I go to summer because I think the number two shade is a bit too pinky on me, but the number one shade for my winter skin is just perfect. I love that it's in a squeezy tube. I love how much you get of this, and the texture is just like real skin, but it actually brightens under my eyes. So moving on to eyes, and I think something that you've seen me use, guys, in loads of my videos now is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Luxury Palette Color Coded Eyeshadow. So I've got a couple here. These are from my Pro Kit, but I just think the quality is brilliant. I love that they're really slim, and I use these a lot on myself as well for kind of evening makeup. So if I'm going out, I want to do something special. Um, I love the Golden Goddess I have, the Rock Chick one, the Sophisticate, and the Dolce Vita. And I would say these two, the Dolce Vita, which is that one, um, and then the Sophisticate, which is all mattes. Those two are probably the two that I use most on shoots, and I get so much use out of these. They're kind of really great suitable shades. And again, I think I'll be loving those for 2015 as well. Now, mascara and me have always had a bit of an interesting relationship. I think mainly because most and nearly all mascaras, by a couple of hours of wearing them, seem to kind of imprint under my eye. I just get that thing where it doesn't matter how long I've left my moisturiser on before I do my makeup, I always get the kind of panda eye. And I finally found the mascara that doesn't do that on me, and it is the Scandal Queen Fairy Drops. And I think these are really hard to get hold of because quite a few beauty bloggers um, have talked about it now. And I heard about this from Viviana Does Makeup. And it's just brilliant, it holds a curl so well, I never get panda eyes, it's one of those brushes that you kind of look at and can't understand why it would be so amazing, because it's quite fibrous but it has the three little baubles on it, um, but this feels like a life changing mascara and I will definitely be buying this again and again on myself, um, because it really works on me, so I'm really glad I found that. Eyeliner wise, Clinique Black Honey is kind of my classic go-to easy eyeliner colour. Most people know me for wearing my flicks on my eyes and if I'm not wearing black or something kind of a bit more intense, I find this colour is so good for daytime. It's kind of like a reddy brown but it has a little bit of sparkle in it but it's kind of low level so it looks very sophisticated and it's just a really easy to wear eyeliner. So last thing for eyes has to be the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I don't know what I was using myself before I found this. I do like the Soap and Glory is a cheaper alternative, but the color medium brown on me, or medium ash it might be in America, is just perfect for my brows. I have the little kind of crayon on one end, the spoolie's amazing, it's really, really thin so it's easy to carry around, and I've worn this pretty much for the whole of last year, and again, I think this is kind of my staple kind of brow color now. Which I for nude lips this year, it has to be the Burberry Lip Mist, and the shade that I've loved is called 212 Nude Peach. And again, you've probably seen me wear it in videos or talk about it till the cows come home, but I just love this nude. It's really moisturizing, it's really comfortable to wear, it's sheer but buildable enough that you can tell you've got a nice nude lip, and again, I find with warm makeup, this looks beautiful. For lips, another one that I've loved, especially kind of drugstore friendly, has been the uh, Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet. I always forget what these are called. Um, but I've loved the colours in particular. I think the three that I've worn the most are the really dark one, which is called Grand Cru, which is like the deep wine red. And then I've worn Olé Flamingo, which is like a sort of poppy, pe uh, poppy pink. And then I've also loved Pink Pong, which is quite like a blue toned pink. And all of these, I think, I actually think they're probably better than the Sephora lip creams. I think the formula lasts that little bit longer and it feels thinner on the lips, but still a very intense opaque colour. And that kind of lipstick is my perfect thing because I can wear it through work, having a meal, and not worry about it kind of being all over my face when I eat. So I'm really loving those. And they're a firm favourite for me for 2014. So the Kiko Smart Lip Pencils, these were also in my Christmas gift guide and in the giveaway. Um, and I just love these, again I'll sort of hold it that way so hopefully you can see all the colours that they do. There's more than this as well, I think they do quite a good range. Um, but these are £2.50 and I found myself reaching for these for editorial shoots, uh, for makeup on myself. And the colours I love myself most are kind of the deep wine colours like 710. They've got a really good, I think it was 705 was in my giveaway, which is like a sort of tomato-y sort of geranium red. Um, but just a really great range of shades that look amazing as lipsticks as well. And for me, I love having a lip liner in my bag just to take my look from day to evening really quickly. So they are coming forward with me for 2050. So on to nails, and something that I discovered, uh, 2000, it's weird saying last year already, that I found last year in 2014 that I absolutely loved, 
was the Bourjois Magic Nail Polish Remover. I started with the pink one, but the purple one they decided for was for hands and toes, has a little sponge in the top. I just find it is the best and most effective nail varnish remover. And using this on myself means that I do end up kind of painting my nails every couple of days and kind of giving myself a bit of a manicure, which I like, because I think I'm always the one doing other people's faces and looking after them, so it's nice to give myself a little pamper, and I've loved that for 2014. When it comes to nails, last year I absolutely loved Essie. I feel for me they were a standout brand in terms of shades and colours and textures that I reached for every time for myself. My three favourite I think were Truce or Flare, yeah Truce or Flare which is really gorgeous kind of like denim grey blue and then Fishnet Stockings which is a nice kind of dark winter red and then I also got Bordeaux which is kind of a gorgeous Rouge Noir, more of like a wine Rouge Noir colour, it's a bit lighter and those three I have worn to death last year and yeah, I just find the brushes amazing on Essie. I think that they last really well. And the texture, you know, two coats is just perfect. You get a proper opaque finish, which I really like. And then last but not least, one colour that I found that I'd been trying to find for ages that I originally found in like kind of a Topshop nail varnish, but then they discontinued, was this yellow from Model Zone. It is scented with Banana Split, which I'm not so keen on, but this colour I feel like I've been searching for for ages and I just love it. You're gonna think I'm really weird, but I find this, it's a really good neutral on me. So I find when I wear this yellow, it looks quite kind of flat and matte. It's not a matte nail varnish, but it just has that kind of very flat, opaque finish on it. And again, two coats I find is pretty much quite good on this. Um, but it's just one of those nail varnishes that kind of goes with every outfit I wear. And I really like it for a quick nail that I know if I need to take it off, it's not gonna kind of stain on my nail and get red underneath. Um, and I'm really glad to have found this yellow again. So I feel like it looks like custard. That's what I wanna say. It kind of reminds me of the color of custard, but a bit lighter. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy I found that. And I think I found that halfway through last year and have worn it loads. So thanks very much, guys. I hope that was interesting. Don't forget to leave in the comments below as well what your favorites are from 2014 and I'll be seeing you soon for more videos and I'm wishing you all the best for 2015. Thanks very much guys, bye!